thank you all all for being here. This is a very important topic, and we're so blessed to have an opportunity. I want to thank the Richland Memorial Board of Trustees. Um, is Shirley Mills here? There's Shirley. Shirley called me up uh, with the board and said, would you be interested in talking about the Blue Zones? I said, I know very much about the Blue Zones. Yes, I'm in. And have been so excited since then that we've had the opportunity to get to this stage. And I hope that when everybody leaves here today that we can get the majority of people to join in. And if you haven't had an opportunity to see the Net Netflix uh, series that's out there or read the book or checked it out, uh, please do, because we have an opportunity. We're at an incredible place in our community right now where we are really moving forward and people are coming together. And with that opportunity comes trying to make a healthier community, not only a safe community, but a healthier community. And health in the, is a lot around environment. We had a lot of discussions around that earlier at the CEO roundtable about that and how important it is that we follow parallel paths because we need to make sure that we have the green spaces, the connectivity, the outdoor exercise, the opportunity for people, but also to make sure that we have fresh vegetables and, and healthy choices for all communities in every corner of our community. And the only way we do that is by working together. We have to take one step at a time. I'm excited for Dan and his team uh, to share with you the Blue Zones and how we get there and as we move forward into the assessment, as we assess our whole community. This is a pretty ambitious program, but if Fort Worth, Texas can do it, Columbia, South Carolina can do it. I'm a true believer that, you know, we, we are the best. Well, first of all, I know we're the number one city in South Carolina, even though we don't have the title, but we will be. <laughs> Secondly, I know that our community is invested together because I know how compassionate it is, how involved they are, and we see that at every step. It doesn't matter what issue we are talking about. Folks are engaged, and they want to be part, part of the solution. And we went around the city and, and town halls, and we, we did a little trick. We put a puzzle piece under everybody's seat and made them pull it out. If you ever looked at a puzzle piece, it has multiple sides. It connects in multiple ways. And our question was, how are you going to be part of the bigger puzzle? What are you going to do together to work with us or connect with your neighbors or improve your neighborhood or your business community or wherever it is? What is your role going to be? So. Hopefully this is another piece of the puzzle that we're working together and we figure out how we're going to connect all those pieces to improve this community. But our goal is to bring everyone together to have a healthier community and it starts at every level from early education to seniors to business owners to our health care partners in the community which we have three Thank you, Prisma Health, for being a big part of this conversation and a driver behind this. But it's only going to be successful is if we have this room and the next room and the next room and the next room and upstairs filled as well. So I hope when you leave tonight, you'll talk about it with your friends at work. You'll talk about it with your neighbors and that we'll continue to take the information, learn from our assessment and start taking piece by piece because you'll hear a lot about people, places, and policy. Those three factors fall into a lot of things. You've heard us lately talk a lot about as we talk about violence reduction. It's people, places, and behaviors. Kind of the same thing, right? There's some, co some connectivity there that, that we have to affect that and a lot of it's communication, a lot of it's information. We have so many resources here but yet with, with our ability to get in information on this little device that we all live on, we still don't know about half the things that are happening or available to us. So hopefully as part of this overall assessment, it opens up doors for people to get more information and more opportunities um, to take advantage of what we already have, but give us opportunity to fill those gaps that we don't have. So I want to thank you all all for being here. I'm excited for the next uh, part of this um, and this is going to be great. Thank you. I too am excited uh, for all the uh, obvious reasons that uh, Mayor just spoke of as well. Uh, you, you, have to say, you have to ask yourself why? Why, why. why would you be excited to be here today and, and, uh, and 
be in this room, be in this atmosphere uh, to talk about what? And that is that uh, I don't, I'm not going to have to share with you um, all the things that, about what Blue Zone has to offer, the partnerships that's going to be necessary to be able to make this a sustainable uh, endeavor itself. Uh, Dan, Dan's going to do a lot of that today about just describing to you what Blue Zone really is and what it's about itself. But what excites me the most is to uh, look, look around the room. Look around the room right now. If you, if you see the, the I, I, I would say it's a hunger, if you will, uh, and looking at what we need to do, looking at what the possibilities are, looking at bringing communities together, uh, that's what it's really about. And when we're able to sustain that, we're able to bring individuals together for a common cause for uh, the betterment of our communities and seeing that level of engagement, that's what really excites me about being here today. So if you think about helping our, our people, if you think about helping our community, you know, there's certain things about, you know, who, who wants to li live a longer life, right? Who wants to live a better life? I I'm glad to see that. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, making healthier choices, uh, and we had a really long debate on that just minutes ago uh, as well about, you know, making healthier choices. But I, th I think a part of what you'll see today is how do we make it easier? How do we make it easier for you? Because it's, it's hard. Um, and, and was it, I think, was it Dr. Pastides was saying, that I can't think of the number of times that I've said I want to go on a diet. I want to eat healthier. I don't, I don't want to eat eat this, I, I want to exercise more. How, how, many, how many people have done that? I, I think I do it every day. I'm going to start on Monday, right? <laughs> uh, but again, it's how do we make it easier? And, and the part of what we're, you're going to learn today and, and uh, to really enjoy is that it, it is going to, uh, the things that we're going to try to bring to the table is how do we make it easier as well. And I guess that's why I'm excited here today. And if I look at some of the things that we already do every single day, I know at Prisma Health that that's our purpose. It's why we wake up every single day, is how do we make a difference in, our, in the people's lives that we can impact, in the communities of which we serve as well. So our purpose is the core of everything that we really do. And we always, our saying is that we want to inspire health, we want to serve with compassion, and we certainly want to be the difference. And that's what you all are here to do as well, right? or you wouldn't be here. So it's a big piece of what we're trying to do, and as, a sta and as the state's largest nonprofit, a uh, healthcare provider, we were formed to really, I mean, this is, this is the purpose. How do we create a better state, a better state of healthcare for the state of South Carolina? This includes providing full continuum care uh, from preventative, and we'll talk about wellness components of it, um, life to all the way to life-saving services as well. Uh, it includes a commitment, a commitment to advancing health equity, trust, it's going to talk about um, creating quali quality and equitable health care that is delivered to everyone, not just a certain population. Um, as we've seen Columbia, we've seen the, the Midlands growth and revitalization, I guess why I'm excited up to be up here today as well is that we're, we at Prisma are, are committed to that, to understand what that changing environment is and how do we have a participation with that um, as well. Uh, excited to see the city. Uh, Mayor Rickman's leadership uh, to continue this, um, to, to be well vested. You see, he didn't have to really read from a, a script to be able to talk to you about his passion and what he wants to see as well for the community. There's a strong passion there. And, and what did you say earlier? We're not maybe not ranked number one in the state of South Carolina, but, but we will be ranked number one in the state for because of that leadership. And so I want to thank Mayor Rickman for that, that vision, that goal. Um, as well. So when, in, when I look at in just the recent years of what Prisma Health has really done and focus on our corporate and community partnerships, it wasn't just Prisma Health alone. It was a lot of those corporate and community partnerships that was extremely important for us. And as we expanded really to address what I would say a lot of the social determinants of health and needs uh, of, of a community, I mean, things that are extremely important because it's not just about coming into a doctor's office or coming into a hospital and be, us taking care of you, right? It's talking about things such as housing insecurities. It's talking about access to healthy foods. It's talking about educational attainment and the importance of that. It's talking about healthy behaviors such as walking and exercise, economic empowerment. You know, we recognize that these and non-medical issues have a true profound impact in a patient's community and overall health care status. Now think about this and what's most important. We cannot do it alone. We cannot do it alone. 
and not one single institution can do this alone. If I think of a healthcare entity itself, a hospital, we can really only impact 10% of that healthcare outcome. There's other things that are set out there, such as our social determinants of health that we're gonna talk about, that a lot of the initiatives that we're gonna talk about today are really there to do, genetics and other things that go into that as well. So to move the needle on what health in a community really is, it has to include partnerships. And that's gonna take our local, gov state, local and state governments, it's gonna take businesses, foundations, healthcare organizations, social and civic organizations as well, faith-based communities, it's gonna take a tr true partnership to be able to make it happen. So when I look at that and, and why, again, I always, always go back to why I'm excited to be here is that many of you feel that, that role. Your engagement is gonna be extremely important for us to be able to move the dial, move the needle as we move forward. So when I look at the different partnerships that are out there, uh, it's evidenced by many different things that we're doing right now uh, as a healthcare entity, but it's gonna take everyone to come around the table to do it as well. So the Blue Zones Initiative under mayor's leadership which is initiated by our Richland uh, Board of Directors has the potential to make a true profound impact in our overall community for not only just today, but for something that's gonna be sustainable over a period of time if we remain committed to it. And remember what I said, no one can do it alone. It would take the city of Columbia, Richland County to lead the effort and to recruit many hands to be able to make this happen. <laughs>